Okay, so I don't know what exactly uh, is going to happen in this mission. I mean, I did say a while ago I thought it was going to be um, involved in kind of showing off the other humans in the world. Because, I mean, I know there's zombies everywhere. But there is other humans, I think, which are out to get supplies and whatnot. I mean, that would make perfect sense. So, I'd imagine that's what I'm going to see here. And why is that something on fire? I don't even know. And I don't even care. Let's go park over this wall instead. That seems to be a better idea. Um, but I am hoping, because it is a main story quest, it should be pretty cool, and that's pretty much that. I think I've got, like, uh, three more quests on the main storyline. I've got this one, and then I've got two more, and then the game stops after you meet some character. I forget his name, and I don't want to spoil it anyway. But if we have that is when the game will stop. I mean, there's a lot of spooky zombies here. Uh, so I might want to try to do some side missions, but the series is kind of getting long. I think it's going to be, like, ten plus parts already, so... Um, I might just literally focus on single player and just. Okay, cool, dude. On my way. So yeah, we, there's gonna be other humans which are trying to steal it from me, but that's okay. I'll just, I'll just kill them. Like, ah, it's like that. See, but yeah, um, I've got no idea what I was just saying. So I can go ahead and take over. Wait, there's something over there as well. So I'm gonna do that and go take over that area over there. But um. Jade, I'm getting close oh, to the drop zone. zone. I did. Oops, my bad. Sorry, buddy. Find some shelter and wait. Most okay. of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. So the the drop's gonna drop somewhere in the yellow zone, and I just need to wait for it to land, I guess, and then I can He's look at it there. fall. So I'm gonna go quickly trade with this lovely chap right here, and then we'll go do that. And I don't think kicking open that box is gonna do anything. What's up, buddy? Okay, so we're getting some really good weapons. And actually, that's actually a purple for 1,200, which seems pretty good. It does just as much damage as my current weapon, which I just upgraded. Someone did say, sell all of your coffee, Lewis, you complete idiot. Uh, you're right, I should sell. Wait, yeah, I should sell my coffee. I thought I was selling duct tape for a second. How do I sell more than one? Uh, use my arrow keys. There we go. And oh, I can press sell all. Whatever. Either way, it's done. And I should also really use the champion weapon upgrade. I'm on my weapons as well. I don't think I can put it on this weapon, but I don't know. Um... I'm not sure if we can modify it anymore. Let's see. So, uh, I, I don't know how to modify my weapon anymore. Or maybe there's only one modification I can put on each weapon. I'd imagine if your weapons are purple, you can probably put more than one, <coughs> more than one modification on it. But this thing I've got right here is blue. So, let's go find somewhere safe in the zone and then just chill out. Plus one active safe zone. Try to secure. Okay, I guess I'll do this quickly as well. Because I did say I should lay down somewhere safe. So, it would make sense to chill out in here instead of... um. Just being on the floor because always the spooky zombies can get to me. So I'll make this place lovely and safe. Where the hell is it? Is it up on top of the roof? It might be safe already. Um, and then that way I can just chill out there. Uh, I don't know how to even get up here. I guess we'll go up this pull. Up here. A lot of people said they wanted to see parkour for some reason. I'm pretty sure I've done like a lot of parkour already. But I mean, what is there really to see? I mean, you jump and shit. That's, that's pretty much that. It's good. Oh, there's a zombie up there. Hello. Whee! In fact, I'm just kick these zombies off the roof. Let's just kick this fucker off the roof. Off the roof you go. Off the roof. Off the roof. Off the roof. There you go, buddy. And you. Oh, is he dead? You okay? <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that. But unfortunately, this is not what I need to secure. What the hell do I need to secure then? Do I need to press buttons? Oh, no, that's the thing I did ages ago. So the zone is inside this house. Oh, and there's some zombies in here. Oh, I don't know if everyone's downstairs or what, but... Um, oh, no, the one's right here. Okay. So that's a bleeding effect you can see right there. So when I hit zombies, I've got a bleeding effect for a few seconds. Which is kind of cool. I guess it is like the most basic uh, effect in the game. You can't get on a weapon. I'm sure you can get a lot cooler effects, but this thing is pretty cool. Seeing all the blood coming off them, you know? Feels good. Feels good. I guess even if you don't have the zombies bleeding to shit, it still feels pretty good in the game because, I don't know, melee, melee's good. Melee's really good. Alright, what do I do? Press some buttons, don't kick it, and then I might need to close the front door or some shit, but that should pretty much do that. No, there we go, we're done. So we can uh, we can go sleep. Well, we can't right now, but um, if we end up coming into some trouble... What the hell, a UV flashlight? Uh, I don't know where I got that from. But yeah, if we end up coming into some trouble, then um, we can just run over here. Although it's kind of hard to get up, but, uh, well, it's not really a scope pull. But if it becomes nighttime, then at least we won't end up getting killed by all of the spooky zombies at nighttime, so that's good. Alright, let's, uh, look for the airdrop in the cauldron area anyway. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. What crate? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's all over here. Can I jump up here? No. Oh. Oh, shit. I fell in that little crack there. How do I get up? Here, baby. 
I know there's a way that also, I don't know if I've missed it in the tutorial, like it might be in a few things, I missed in the tutorial. But I know you can look backwards over on it. I'm not sure if that's just something which I haven't been told how to do yet, but... <laughs> but you can definitely do it, so I should try that out. Let's kick this dude as well, because you get a lot of XP if you actually kill zombies, so it's, it's always uh, worth killing them if you do get an, an opportunity to easily kill them. Okay, he's not he's not dying. Oh, shit. Now I'm fine. Alcohol, nice. Fuck you, fuck you. There we go. But I don't want to use the melee weapon too much, because otherwise I am going to run out of repairs for it. So I am keeping that in mind. I guess we can probably hit this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the supply drop is around top of here. Let's go ahead and open this up as well, because I'm the master of lockpicking. I've got ten lockpicks right now, because I crafted all those ones with four. So... There we go. Lockpicking seems very easy. I mean, even the hard ones, I've broke one lockpick on, which, I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, too easy or what. There's some more coffee and a claw hammer, which is 33 damage, not too bad. That's pretty cool. Wait, where the hell's my other weapon? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, I don't... What, where, where did... Oh, there it is. Okay, I was thinking, like, where the hell's my other weapon go? So, no, I can take both of them, and I don't know if I dropped my other weapon by accident. I think I did that earlier. I dropped my weapon. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought if you've got four slots, you know, it's going to put the weapons in the individual slots. But in that case, when I picked up, it dropped it. I don't know. I'm probably just being silly. As per usual, let's see if we can get some money quickly from the house, if there is any. And also, there's a lot of these things to loot. You can go through a bunch of houses and just loot them. Like, it's a lot of fun just going through uh, closets and saying, like, Ooh, this guy's got a drug stash. How amazing. What's this? Some nails, you know? We can, I don't know, put some nails on the bat and then hit some zombies with it. So, we can open up that door, which I might want to do. The main thing I'm looking for is money. Batteries. Here is on your back. What's this? Chemicals. Awesome shoes in those closets, you know? Yo, what's up, guys? How are you doing? No, this isn't a store. This is just a normal house. I don't know why I was looking for a cash register in a house. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I personally don't keep cash registers in my house. So, yeah. Maybe this is a bad idea to even open up. Where is it? Oh, no, this is fine. So, I don't know if I'm going to need to escape or something, but if I do, then that's fair at least. Gonna open that up, get plastic, and then let's go check out the supply drop up on the roof. Uh, where is it? So it's to my left, okay. So this is the box I guess the van is in. I need. Oh. I don't like this music. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Oh shit, so those things have just landed and... Ow! That was really stupid, but it didn't do that much damage, although it sounded like it did. But, um, yeah, this is where we're going to get the human interaction side of things, and we'll see what that's like. Like, I don't know if you can get guns in this game, I don't think you can, I think I mentioned that earlier, but... No, I mean, was was a gun in the start in the Mac? Was a dude with, like, a pistol or something? Or did I have a pistol? I can't remember. No, I had a pistol, I think. I don't even know. It was like ages ago. It was like a week ago when I stopped playing the game. <laughs> About a week ago. But yeah, I know it's like a second ship up here, so let's go ahead and hop up and see what we can find. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. fuck off. I need to get on top of a car so I can see where the supply drop landed. I think it was somewhere like over here in front of me, wasn't it? Oh no, it looks like we're both over there. I don't know why I wasn't looking at my radar, but yeah. Apparently we're both over there. I thought it was definitely one that landed over there. We're on the highway though, right? No, we might not even have landed on the highway, so there's no point of going up here. Oh, well, whatever, at least it gets me around the tunnel. <gasps> oh god. Is that Shit. a dude? Too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck! Okay, don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Okay. So the other one's just down the street, it looks like. I don't want to get their attention. I'm not sure if these, um... <clears throat> these supply drops might be a part of, like, the... The, uh... The... Not replayability, but, like, the... The amount of stuff you can do when you're not doing main quests. Like, these might be things which just drop randomly, which then you've got, like, a chance to come across, like, enemies and whatnot. That'd be pretty cool if it just dropped randomly, because, you know, it's those kind of uh, small things, you know, along with the uh, exploration and the find finding all the loot in the world and unlocking all the safe zones, which makes it so... Crane, What's that over there? So I don't know. You need to turn back now. Are you serious? Dude, I'm almost there. I can do this. Oh, fuck. 
But yeah, if that's a thing, then that's that's really cool. So that way you've got a lot of things to do when you're not doing the main quests. And uh, this sounds great, man. So it's getting really fucking dark. And I'm like, fuck it, man. Jade, I'm almost dead, dude. I'll be fine. No, it's it's nighttime. Zombies go cray cray at nighttime. I don't like cray cray zombies. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed that jump. 10 out of 10. Right, let's go and heal myself up. How many do I have? I've got zero of those left. That's smart of me. I haven't been in this zone either before. This isn't a slum. This is like... I don't know. Well, it's less slummy than someone I fucking know. Alright, I've somehow lost the, the flare then. Where was it? Oh. No, that wasn't a flare. I've seen something red though. So, I've, I don't know where it's even gone now. I've lost it. I think it must be somewhere over here then. There's a safe zone right there which I can unlock. Like, it might not be too bad of an idea to do that safe zone, but... I don't know if it's going to be as simple, as simple as just uh, being really lame and just taking that safe zone. Right, I'm going to get on top of one of these houses and see if I can work out where it was, because I've seen it and then I lost it because I'm, I'm blind or something, I think. Right, let's see. Hello? Is anyone here? Well, maybe this is, uh, this is where I'll work out how to look backwards, you know? This is the tutorial where I look backwards in the game. I'm so excited. I mean, it probably landed on top of a house, right? I'm probably being like a massive idiot right now. Like I said before, please no flame array, you know. You become really dumb when you record video games. Um, um, yeah, where is it? Whatever, we'll just lockpick this thing for now. Oh, I don't even need to lockpick it. It's just free loot. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. Some nails. No metal parts. Whatever. Same shit, dude. Um, I don't know. I, I literally don't know where it is. It doesn't look like it's on top of a roof. I mean, there isn't that big of an area where it could be. Uh, I guess I might just have to look around for it myself. Or was that down there? Oh, there it is right there. I'm, oh my god, I just did that game. Sorry, I lost 2 HP. It's fine. So it's in the light. I don't know how I didn't see it earlier. Clear this. Okay, so I need to kill these zombies quickly. Hi, zombies. And I'd, I'd like to kick this dude off, but I don't know. Maybe that's being a bit too optimistic. No, I can do it. I can do it. Goodbye. Is he dead? Yeah, he's totally dead. There we go. Alright, let's search for supply drop then. It shouldn't be looted. I mean, it, it is closed, but so is off one, so I don't know. Salvage for vials of Antazin. So I was right. We did come here for Antazin. I didn't forget the reason we did it all. And almost died. Broke my legs about ten times, but I'm fine. GRE. Crane here. I'm about to recover an Antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh shit, okay, so I'm gonna take one out for myself and then burn the rest. Wow. What a guy. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no Antis in here. Done? Fuck! Fuck! Alright. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. The nightmares? Oh, shit. They must have heard me. I don't like the sound of a dog. Is that a nightmare? Yo, that, that dude... I've never seen... Oh! Okay. Oh, my, my game just crashed. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Ah. Shit. That was so spooky it crashed my game. Don't worry guys, I'm back on the game again. And I think I'm going to skip the cutscene this time so that way my game will not crash. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Skip the cutscene. Kaboom, kabam. We are done and I'm scared. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um, return to the tower. I can't see anything. Okay, turn on my light. Where's my light? There. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? How do I look behind me? I don't even know. Uh, oh, press B to look behind you while you're sprinting. Okay, so this is indeed the tutorial for looking behind me. Um, and this is- oh shit! Fuck off! Um, this is the tutorial for looking behind me and this is- this is what, uh, night time is like, in case anyone's wondering. Ow! <laughs> fuck off! Oh shit! What the fuck? Whoa! 
Yo, the zombies are pretty strong, dude. I don't like that. Um. Yeah, so at night time, it was nightmares. Oh shit, I respawned somewhere else. Okay, so I think I, this might be actually a lot easier now that I've died, but... So it's a bit of a letdown that I just died there and... I don't know, disappointed everyone. But I can look behind me, so I can hold B and, and it goes slow more and shit. I can like, look around like, whoa, whoa shit, I just went... I just did a 180 right there. Yeah, I think there's literally nothing left now because I died there, so I just... I've ruined that. I literally ruined that. These zombies don't seem to care too much. Let's go ahead and... Oh shit! Never mind! I don't know if I... Do I need to be stealthy? Because look on the radar right now. You can see, like, the, the visual cones of, of these nightmare things. So, I'm not sure if, like, being stealthy is a viable option at nighttime. I just thought everything was crazy as fuck and um, you just have to run. But it looks like being stealthy is is possible. But either way, I, I got out of this. But uh, I thought we were out of the tutorial zone of the game. But it seems like we're still learning. So, um, night gameplay. All agility and power points gain, gain during the night are doubled. If you survive a night outside of a safe zone, you'll be rewarded with survivor rank points. By escaping a pursuit during the night, you'll be rewarded with additional agility points. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. The tutorial is still indeed happening, um, which is, I mean, that's good. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the game. Like, I can't complain, but um, I'm just still wondering, you know, what the the non-campaign mission versions of these in engagements are like kind of thing, you know? Like, as interesting as this was, it was an extra level of coolness because it was scripted, right? What's it like when it's not scripted and it's just you? I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. Nightmares. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. I don't know, man. Plot twist, guys. GRE are actually bad people. I know. My neck was blown. Alright, I know. Let's go talk to, uh... I don't know. Who, who am I even talking to, to be honest? I don't know. Let's go actually sell some stuff quickly before we do go ahead and do that. Sell some coffee... Bam, firecrackers, I kind of need them. Weapons I've got. How come it says on weapons? I thought it said on weapons, like, value, like, really high, but the value isn't high at all on the weapons. But I don't know, maybe I misread it. Well, no, let's have a look, actually, here. Where is it? Weapons. Inventory. Value, 960. I guess that's how much you could buy it for from a shop. But when you sell it, it's worth, like, literally nothing. So, I don't know, it's kind of a scam. And anyway, let's see who I'm talking to. Brecken. Yeah, Come okay. On. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... I'll go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Oh shit, that was some intense bonding right there with Bracken. I'm a dirty, dirty liar. But it's okay, because we're gonna go talk to Race now. Is that his name, Race? I think that's actually, uh, that might be the character which we need to talk to, which ends the little press demo. So I'm not looking forward to this, man. Unless something terrible happens where I try to buy it, like, I don't know. A nightmare eats him and then, like, I don't know. No, that doesn't sound very likely, actually. I don't think, I don't think he's going to get eight. I might go have a look at the, the side missions in a second as well. I don't know. I was saying that I did just go so down. Desperate, so he's ready to deal with late. the devil himself. I'm Rice. sure there's some good side missions. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document... This is the perfect opportunity. Yeah, the only side quest I've done so far, I wanted to get the chocolate and the DVD or whatever the hell for that dude who had uh, the, the mum issues. Uh, but like, yeah, mum issues, probably not the best way to describe it, but you know, he, he, he had a mum wh which wasn't real. That's yeah, pretty cool, right? Something wrong? What? No, no, Yo. Listen, Crane, no, down here. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're oh, doing shit. it to redeem yourself. I should probably sleep. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. 
I loved him more than I believed I was capable of. I love how Crane is pretending like to care. It's very cute. What's that, Mr. I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. Yo, can you kill nightmares? I don't even know. Crane, we know that you two are taking a risk to do this for us. Shit, it's coming up. Oh! Look, Jane. Wait, in Crane. We'll talk when I get back with the answers in, okay? Oh my god. Alright, right, I think we should probably go sleep first, but either way, um, my point is about the side quest thing. The side quests are good. Like that main main mission thing, that was, it was okay. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be some really cool ones later. But the side quests are by no means bad. So I think I'm going to go up. What the hell is wrong with that dude's face? Oh, it doesn't look that bad actually. I don't know, he looked, looked deformed for a second there. How are you doing? What's wrong with his lips? Anyway, let's go up and go check out the side quests. Where do I go? I don't even know. It's somewhere here. Oh, we'll go.